my whole area has been in quarantine for a while now, but I'm not going to let that stop me from building some useless stuff. For this video, the idea wasn't proposed to me, it's actually something I overheard by somebody else. Now, you could say I'd be stealing the idea, but I'm pretty sure the original author didn't intend on this result. The, the guy was pretty preoccupied with trying to get his mail after curfew. Which, which is an interesting priority. But this is a citizen in need and we're going to build something to help him out. Alright, let's go figure it out. Okay, let's make sure we understand the problem clearly. We have a house and we have a mailbox. When it's after 8 p.m., the man in the house can't go get his mail. But Tristan, as long as he goes on his property, he's allowed to go outside. Okay, shh, he doesn't know that and therefore it doesn't matter. So, it's nighttime. Our buddy here is angry because his monthly investment statement is in the mailbox and he was planning on reading it with popcorn to bed. What do we do? We can send out a machine from his house. Then this robot will get the mail, bring it back to him, and he'll be happy. Alright, the first step is to make the robot move. We've been building dumb robots for years now and conveniently we already have a motorized frame. It's complete with wheelchair motors, driver boards, and a radio control receiver. Literally the only thing we have to do is to bind a transmitter to the robot and we can already control it remotely. With a large base and long front forks, we can mount any equipment or tool as needed. And on top of that, it also has the strength to pull a car uphill. So that's cool, I guess. Now here comes the most difficult engineering issue. How do you get the mail? If we take a look at these mailboxes, we realize they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. So we need a general approach. Let me ask you a question. What is a common feature between these four mailboxes that we can use to our advantage? The post. That's right, the post is the same, unless you're in Florida. So let me be clear, we're not going to build some alien NASA rover looking arm thing. That, that's, that's too complicated. Instead, we'll just saw off the mailbox and bring the whole thing to the front door. Problem solved. To cut the post, all we have to do is mount a chainsaw on the robot and control it remotely. And to do that, it's as simple as connecting a servo to the carburetor's throttle lever. Now, I know you probably think this sounds crazy and that's just your common sense. There's no problem there. But if I were you, I would just throw that in the garbage for the rest of the video because we're doing some creative science. <laughs> One downside of the design is that the kill switch is now out of reach. In other words, we can't turn off the chainsaw easily once it's running. Yeah. After mounting the system on the robot, we took it out for a test run. It'll cut dead trees easily and navigate in snow perfectly. You might notice that the tree falls on the robot. That's fine. We're missing the final piece, the arm that will grab the post. Let's suppose for a second that this broom handle is an arm that is fixed on the robot so it can't move. This log is the log that we're going to be cutting down. Now the problem is the robot needs to move forward to cut the log. If this arm is fixed and it's holding onto the log, then the more the robot moves forward, the more the log is going to be pushed back and we're not going to be able to cut it in the first place. So we need to find a solution where we can grab the log and at the same time go forward to cut it. So our solution involves two important parts. The first is the claw that uses an actuator to close two pieces of steel together and clamp onto the post. The second part is a rail system. The entire claw assembly rolls backwards if it's pushed. So what happens is the robot grabs the mailbox post, then slowly inches forward with the chainsaw running. As we get closer, the arm assembly moves backwards leading the post directly into the cutting zone of the chainsaw until it's fully cut through. Okay, I might have gotten a little carried away, you know, I was trying, I was working and, well, I, I built, I built a flamethrower and... <laughs> Hear me out, the idea is to use it to disinfect the mail in, in the, in the mail, in the mailbox? I, uh, I built it out of Legos because I don't have a 3D printer and I can't afford one, but you know, what's better than repurposing old childhood toys into dangerous flamethrowers? 
It uses a pressurized 2 liter soda bottle to activate some pistons and it's uh, completely independent with the radar control system but I won't go into the details because I don't want to get into legal trouble. Alright, it's ready, it's done, the whole thing's mounted, ready to go, let's go take it outside. Ooh. It was too dangerous to try the chainsaw at night, but the next day, during the daylight, we were finally able to make it do what it was designed for. Let me just say this first. For the guy who gave me this idea, here is your robot, and also this is your fault. Have you ever had a hard time getting your mail after curfew? Have you ever worried about disinfecting mail you received? Do you want to stay on your couch and get hand-delivered mail straight to your door? Then take a look at our new revolutionary mail robot. It has an all-wheel drive tank system to travel in any condition. Are you doing that? It prioritizes your safety by removing any dangerous material, virus, or pathogen. It is the most advanced mail fetching robot in the world. But let's not just talk about it, let's see how it would get the mail for you. In the initial stage, Mailbot will deploy and make its way to your designated mailbox. Once arrived, it will use its disinfection system to sanitize the mail. It then uses the highest precision tools to operate and <laughs> <laughs> it then uses the highest precision tools to operate and acquire the mail efficiently. After securing the package, Mailbot will drive back to your home. It has state-of-the-art cloth technology to ensure the safety of your packages while moving. And just like that, your mail is safely back and Mailbot will park itself away until its next adventure. Here is your mail, sir. Our products go through rigorous testing to guarantee the highest quality in the robotics industry. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Our team of experts accurately tests in a professional environment the equipment so you don't have to worry. To purchase one, just contact me directly and we'll begin the deployment process to get your very own Mailbot. Alright, so that's the end of the video. We really hope you enjoyed it. It took a long time to record and build, uh, so we really hope it's worth it. 
If you guys could consider subscribing, that'd be really great because this channel currently has a whopping zero subscriber count. So literally if one person would subscribe, that would just make my day. So thank you very much for watching till the end. And uh, here's a couple bonus clips of things we filmed during the way. Split it in half.